everyone, my name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you the Mongolian hot pot video. Now unfortunately I did not get to do this for Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I actually shot this video a different day. Um, we had a little incident happen which is kind of funny and scary at the same time with my grandmother. She actually got out of her apartment and wandered around the streets on Super Bowl Sunday night. And around 7.30, I received a phone call that my grandmother was picked up and taken to the hospital. So when I got there, it's kind of funny, she was in this stretcher and she's like, hey, she goes, I don't know why they picked me up and brought me here. I was fine. I don't know why I'm in the hospital. So anyway, um, needless to say, she's safe now and at home, and when I ask her about the events of that night, she says that she had a great time. She said it was so much fun, and one of the police officers was kind of cute. So, at least she has good experiences in her mind, but it was kind of scary for me and my husband. So anyway, but she's safe and sound, and... The Mongolian hot pot video that I'm going to be doing here was shot with um, four people. So um, if you have more people, of course, you can just add more ingredients. And um, here is the Mongolian hot pot video. Now for the chicken, the first thing I'm going to do is just remove all of the fat. And once all of the fat is removed, I'm just going to slice it into thin strips like this. And once the chicken is cut, I'm just going to lay it out on a plate and cover it with plastic wrap and then place it in the refrigerator while we prepare our other meat. Now for the flight steak, you just want to trim as much fat as you can off of this steak. And once you have the fat trimmed, you just want to cut it into about one and a half to two inch um, pieces like this. And then you want to cut it into thin pieces about that size. And once all of your steak is chopped, you just want to place it on a plate just like this and then cover it with plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator until you're ready to do your hot pot. Now here I have a piece of boneless skinless salmon and you want to make sure you get it skinless so that way you can easily cut it into slices. And you just want to basically cut it in half and then cut the halves into thin paper slices like this. And then you just want to place the salmon on a plate and cover it with plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator until you are ready to serve your hot pot. And then for the baby bok choy, you just want to cut off the end and then I just like to cut it roughly into big pieces like this. And once you have your bok choy cut, you can just place it in a bowl like this. And once your carrot is peeled, you just want to chop off the ends like this. And then you want to chop it on a diagonal into thin slices. About this size. And once your carrots are chopped, just place them in a bowl like this too.
You open and drain the baby corn and then place it in a bowl such as this. And just like you did the baby corn, you want to open and drain the can of bamboo and place it in a bowl to be served. Now for the hot pot itself, I'm actually going to use an electric skillet. This is just the electric skillet that I have and it has a little cord that has the um, temperature settings on it like this. And what I want to do is just fill it with about 8 cups of chicken broth and heat it on high until it comes to a boil. Now you definitely want to have some sauces for people to dip their meats and vegetables in. Um, I use these little what they call ramekins and just put out some different sauces in those. Um, generally I will put out a, one of the um, hot chili garlic sauce which is actually one of my favorites. Um, and then another sauce that I often make is I mix a little tamari with some chopped uh, garlic. So that's a good sauce as well. But you can put out as many or as little sauces as you would like. The other thing that you need is um, different chopsticks. You want to use separate chopsticks for each of the different items and then each person also wants their own set of chopsticks as well because you don't want to contaminate the meat or the um, pot with different germs. Okay, and once you have your broth boiling, you can go ahead and set up vegetables on one side and the meat on the other.